Good evening, it's Ellery the Health Adventure here to talk to you today. Um, so someone had requested yesterday that I do a blog post about um, how I got rid of my acne um, after going vegan. Um, so I actually did go ahead and do that. I made a very long and detailed um, blog post for you guys on my website. Um, it's thehealthadventure.com. I wanted to talk to you guys about, you know, my, kind of my journey and how how I kind of stumbled onto, you know, veganism, and you know, you know, was I expecting it even in the first place to for this to clear up? So first of all, um, I was actually on birth control for a while. Um, I was in a relationship and I was using, uh, you know, Nuvaring, and as soon as I got off of that. Um, you know, because the relationship ended, so I, I decided to take the ring out. I had all these kind of weird sensations in my body, and you know, over the course of a couple of months, I started seeing hormonal acne develop on my face. And hormonal acne is basically the acne that you know comes in this jawline here. Um, so this is actually you know where males would be growing their beard. Um, so this is where I was getting all of this cystic acne, and this kind of acne is really damaging, it's very scarring. So I would get these, you know, <laughs> these uh, pimples, and not only would they hurt, but then, you know, they would, you know, get scratched or whatever, they would pop, and then they would leave all these really dark scars, which I still have, you know, now. So you can see it's clear, but I still have some scarring left over. And the scarring has gotten a little bit better over time, um, but, you know, unfortunately I still have some work to do and I don't know if it'll ever completely go away or not. Um, you know, we'll see about that, but I'm just happy that I'm not having the issue anymore. Um, so what I did was, you know, I, I was really frustrated with the, with the acne. I went to a dermatologist. The dermatologist wanted to put me on Accutane right away. That wasn't a good fit for me, so I just, I decided not to do that. Um, I wanted to try to do something a little bit more natural. Someone had told me about oils and things like that you can actually use to cleanse your face and that can be healthy for your face. Um, one of them being coconut oil, jojoba oil. Um, some people do break out from coconut oil though, so she did kind of warn me that could be something that would happen to me. So that didn't happen, um, but what happened was it didn't do really anything. Um, you know, it felt nice and everything, but it didn't help get rid of my acne. Um, so then I went on to try a little bit more of an intense like essential oil. So I used, um, I found a tea tree oil in a lotion that I would put on my face, you know, two to three times per day. And it did help a little bit at first for maybe a month or two or so. And after that, it just, it wasn't really helping. I still clearly had the problem. Whatever the underlying issue was, wasn't sorted out. I went to my general doctor to see what she would say. And she said all she could do was put me back on birth control to try to, um, you know, get rid of the acne. And the way that she stated it was that it wasn't the birth control, but maybe something underlying was it was covering that up. So it's a possibility, but definitely, you know, it's still also possible. Um, I did talk to my gynecologist, and she said it is possible that the birth control actually caused it. So it's hard to say, but I should also mention that while I was in this relationship, I was uh, and using the birth control, I was dating a Brazilian. And he got me into eating very high protein. I was eating a lot of picanha and you know red meats, and I was eating more chicken. And um, I started working with a trainer, so I was doing lots of like you know cottage cheese and you know all kinds of stuff, high protein, high protein nuts and things like this. So um, what happened was then uh, I you know obviously so I stopped doing the the birth control and everything, and I just got frustrated. I was like. Okay, nothing, nothing is really working. Um, so then I met my my current boyfriend uh, about a year ago, and he didn't really eat meat at all. Uh, very rarely, just on occasion. Um, he actually had a lot of reactions at the time to meat. For some reason, lately he hasn't been having as many reactions when he eats meat. So I don't know what that's all about. Um, but at the time, he really wasn't eating meat at all, 
and so I kind of started looking at that, you know, like, okay, well, he looks pretty fit, and, you know, this whole thing about you need to eat all this protein to be fit and to build muscle, I, you know, I started to kind of question that, so I thought I would just go ahead and, you know, try to incorporate more vegetables and things like that into my diet because, hey, everyone says to eat your vegetables, so I was doing all these different kinds of dishes with my boyfriend. We would do steamed broccoli with avocado and, you know, maybe some other vegetables, maybe some potatoes or something like that. Um, and we would also do, um, I posted a picture on my blog, actually, there was like this pasta dish. We had some, a mixture of like tomatoes with uh, angel hair pasta and some artichoke and um, asparagus and I think we even had some fruit in there. So we tried, you know, lots of different dishes and it, you know, it, it worked. It actually, what happened was my acne went away and I wasn't even changing my diet necessarily for my acne, but it was kind of like a, you know, secondary kind of thing where I was like, wait a minute, I gave up on this a while ago and all of a sudden, you know, my acne got a lot better. Um, I should also mention, you know, now that I'm like talking about this and thinking about it, nuts for me, I do notice that if I eat more nuts, um, I get more uh, cystic acne in particular. So nuts definitely, and I was eating a lot of nuts um, when I was eating a little bit more protein as well. Um, but you know, the, the protein, I think it's also kind of like not eating so much of the red meats and all that, the redness in my face seemed to go down a lot too. Um, so I have heard that, uh, or read that with, um, if you're eating a lot of a diet very high in omega-6s and not very high in omega-3s, um, that that's something that can actually cause that type of hormonal cystic acne. Um, hello, welcome to my Periscope. Um, so that was a really interesting thing and I will try to find that article and maybe I'll do a follow-up blog post on that because now that I'm talking about it I'm just kind of some of these things are kind of actually coming back to me because I've done so much research um, you know in my span of trying to figure out what to do with my health as I've had a lot of different health issues and I always am looking for different alternative ways to deal with things um, so that was an article that I read a while ago so I will definitely try to find that again and post that up for you guys so I was really really happy that you know overall going vegan and also eating less nuts so those two things together that was something I can't believe I forgot about that but um, those two things together really helped a lot um, because anytime that I would start to eat things like meat and dairy and then again the nuts um, those are things that would you know cause all this acne in my face so I thought that would be helpful to share with you guys. Um, I struggled so much trying to figure out what works for me. I don't know what, if you guys are struggling with something like this, or what will work for you, because again, everyone's different, but sharing my experience, I hope is something that will help you guys maybe find an answer for yourself. Um, so yeah, uh, I'm trying to think. Now I'm, now I'm going raw vegan, so for other issues, um, so, I've explained uh, before on my channel that I had, you know, some lupus type symptoms coming up and some rheumatoid arthritis types of symptoms. So um, those, those are some things that, you know, I've looked into things further and I've been doing a raw vegan diet, uh, which has helped some issues that I had with my hands where they were closing up on me involuntarily. So pretty scary. Um, but thankfully my hands have gotten a lot better. So I just am continually refining my diet and continually seeing, you know, what is going to work for me and what's not. So if you guys uh, want to follow me and uh, learn a little bit more about my journey, uh, go ahead and give me a follow on Periscope. And thank you again so much for all the hearts, all the comments. I very much appreciate it. So thank you so much for joining, and I hope you found this helpful. So see you next time.